You've probably heard the phrase, early to bed and early to rise makes a man healthy, wealthy, and wise. Well, that was spoken by one of our founding fathers, Benjamin Franklin, and he wrote that in Poor Richard's Almanac. When people find out that I wake up at 5 a.m. every morning, people are shocked. They're like, whoa, you must be crazy to wake up at 5 a.m. every day in the morning. Well, to them, I respond, I think you're crazy for not waking up at 5 a.m. in the morning. Just kidding. Everyone has their own lifestyles, and I don't judge how you live. You know, some people work better early in the morning, and other people work better late at night. And I just happen to be in that early category. In this video, I'm going to talk about how I organize my time throughout the day. I organize my time into what I like to call the double 9 to 5 framework. Or sometimes I also call it the 9 to 5 9 to 5. No, I don't work two jobs. People who do that are actually crazy. So you might recognize 9 to 5 as the corporate work hours. 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. And you would be correct, that is one chunk of my 9 to 5 is work. Now obviously, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. only applies on weekdays. I don't work weekends or anything like that, so I'm not that crazy, okay? Just, just trying to prove my point. I do my best to contain my work within those hours. I know sometimes there's going to be a little bit more work and sometimes there's going to be a little less work. But at the very least, I always like to try to end at 5 p.m. In some ways, this kind of gives me like a little internal deadline to myself to say, hey, you better finish work at 5 p.m. or else. Sometimes things get a little bit more busy than usual and I need a little bit more time. If I know that up front, what I'll prefer to do instead is I will prefer to start work earlier than 9 a.m. So maybe I could start at like 8 or 7 or even 6 if it's really that bad. But I always try to end at 5 if I can. And there's a reason for that and I'll get to that later on in this video. So now that I explained the first 9 to 5, let me explain to you what the second 9 to 5 is. The second 9 to 5, you probably already guessed it, is sleep. Sleep. Gotta get that beauty sleep in. It is absolutely essential for health. After a full day of exerting your body, you absolutely have to rest and take a step back and recharge. This is absolutely necessary. And it's important to get the best possible sleep that you can because this is when your body, while you're unconscious, gets to come in and do all the things that it needs to do that it cannot do while you are awake. In my case, I'm not very efficient at night. I recognize that and I just simply cut off my day at that point and be like, all right, that's it, you're done. Anything you gotta do, next day, it can wait. So far in this nine to five, nine to five, or as I like to call it, the double nine to five framework, I've only accounted for 16 hours of the day. What about the rest of the eight hours? Now I'm gonna start talking about the five to nine, five to nine, which is whatever time is remaining after you take out the nine to five, nine to five. So the first five to nine is 5 a.m. to 9 a.m. This is the most precious time of day. This is right after I wake up and right before I have to start work for the day. This is the time in which I can do deep work. I can do anything that I want without any distractions from anybody. Because people are really good at distracting other people and also people are easily distracted by people. What do I do during this time? I engage in my spirituality, I take care of my physical health, I feed myself some brain food, and I work on my personal goals and mastery projects. Concretely, this is reading the Bible every day in the morning and posting my reflection onto BibleReadingDaily.com, working out, reading, and working on my hobbies and mastery projects. This is how I make time to do the things that I'm interested in. I don't want to wait until I retire before I start doing these things. I'd rather just start doing them now. Even if I can't do the full day into it, hey, even just like a few hours in the morning, that's all good and that counts for a lot actually. The second 5 to 9 is 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. This is right after I get off work and right before I'm about to go to sleep. The purpose of this time is for me to rest, for me to unwind. I just had a full day where I applied myself to the fullest extent. So perhaps I might make some dinner, get some food. I feel like it, I might watch a movie, light reading, and socializing. One of my favorite things to actually do is something that I like to call the walk and talk. The way the walk and talk works is I'll go out to a park and I'll start walking and I'll call a friend as well. So usually I schedule these in advance so that way they know it's not just like, oh, out in the middle of the blue. This is great because I'm killing two birds with one stone. Not only am I able to get some light exercise for the day, but I also get to talk with a friend, you know, on a deeper level than just what 
social media can do because you actually want to talk to them to hear how things are and get deeper. Usually my walk-in talks will last anywhere from 30 minutes to even two hours. Sometimes they'll go even longer, but on average about one hour or so. So that's a good amount of exercise and a good amount of social interaction, even though you're not directly interacting with people, but hey, it's great for times like these. This is a great way to keep in touch with people and also catch up with someone that you might not have talked to in a long, 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 long time. You know, perhaps they were in a galaxy far, far away. Or at least it just seemed that way because you haven't talked to them in a long time. And finally, I like to use the last hour before I go to bed to perform my evening ritual. This is where I close out my day. Anything that I didn't do that I want to do today has to get pushed over to tomorrow. And I'll do some journaling as well. And I could talk about my evening ritual perhaps in another video. But the purpose of this time is just to cool down and get ready for bed. You want to completely empty out your mind and just not be thinking about anything so that way by the time you lie into bed, you are completely calm and can enjoy a good night's rest. So just as a recap, 9 p.m. to 5 a.m. is sleep, is when you recharge your body to rest. 5 a.m. to 9 a.m. is my personal time to really just get the things that I really want to do for myself, do the things that I want to do without any distractions. 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. is when I work for the day, and 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. is when I'm relaxing and winding down, and maybe doing a walk and talk. Now, I'm not perfect, so I don't follow this 100% of the time. There are some times where I miss due to either some unpredictable event or maybe some other factor that causes me to go beyond. But I'm able to say for myself that I observe this framework 90% of the time. It's more of a guideline rather than a law, but I'd very much prefer to stick with it if I possibly can. That's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you next time.